It's really important to make a distinction between religion and faith. Religion's like the sea. It's huge, massive, and you can never really get to know it. Whereas faith, well, that's more like a glass of water. You can relate to it. You can understand it. It's personal. I don't like religion. It causes a lot of conflict and it feeds on the fears and weaknesses of people. And if I'm being honest, religions seem to just want to control people and money. I don't like religion either. It's inflexible and it can often cause a lot of damage to people. I thought you were a Christian. How can you not like religion? I am a Christian, a believer actually. But when Christianity is turned into a religion, people become judgmental and legalistic, and I do not want to be a part of that. I'm, I'm confused. How can you be a Christian, but not believe in the Christian religion? Well, Christianity wasn't meant to be a religion. It's a faith. Actually, it's a faith in a personal relationship with Jesus. That's not religious. It's personal. A personal relationship with Jesus Christ is the foundation of the Christian faith. But too often it gets hijacked by religious practice and dogma and ceremonies and then it starts to turn into a religion and becomes less. So you see a difference between faith and religion, but they seem the same to me. What is the difference? Well, a good example would be if I go to participate in a meaningful ceremony at church mm -hmm. and I uh, meet some friends and we discuss our feelings. Well, I could do the exact same thing if I joined a political party or a social club. But if I have an actual personal relationship with the Son of God and I see Him in that ceremony and He knits me together with other believers that are there, well, that is totally different. It's personal, not religious. So, you actually think you have a connection with God. That makes me uncomfortable. I mean, no offense, but you sound a little brainwashed. Um, but you think that you actually have a connection, a relationship with the Son of God? It seems a bit much, don't you think? I agree with you. It's a bit too much, actually. It's overwhelming, frightening, beautiful, difficult, and wonderful. Just like any great relationship. The only difference is, is he is totally dependable, and he makes it work. It's not easy to explain the peace and the love that believers have when they get to know Jesus. His wisdom and prayer, his strength when we are weak, these things and so much more fill believers. Getting to know Jesus personally, well, that's, that requires a risk. It's a little bit of a quest. You could start by reading Jesus' own words in the Bible and then maybe risk a little prayer. It helps if you're open, open-minded and willing to experience Him, but He can reach hard cases too. The main thing is, to try. Don't seek religion. Seek a relationship with Jesus. Then you'll find the true faith. And stay with us here on this blog, because if there's one thing we've learned, it's personal.